It was a nationwide adoption fraud scheme first exposed by the seven investigators. A federal judge called the Macomb mom at the center of that scheme disgusting and evil when he sentenced her to prison. Now for the first time, the FBI agents and analysts who locked up Tara Lee are talking exclusively to seven investigator Heather Catalo about their efforts to make sure this never happens again. The FBI wants you to know they take adoption fraud very seriously. And in the wake of the Tara Lee case, they want to make sure no one falls victim to this again. When a federal judge sentenced Tara Lynn Lee to 10 years in prison, he said her evil crimes would impact multiple generations. I went through my darkest time because you wanted to line your pockets. Federal prosecutors say the 40-year-old mother from New Haven left a trail of financial and emotional devastation across 24 states as she took in $2.1 million with her adoption fraud scheme. Could you just do this to people and their kids? Lee acknowledged in her 2019 guilty plea that she made up fake birth mothers, told adoptive couples that babies died when they never existed, and double-matched couples with the same birth moms. I've seen this fraud destroy lives. I've seen it destroy marriages. FBI Special Agent Matthew Sluss and FBI Intelligence Analyst Nishan Spiller worked the Lee case and they were so impacted by how many people were hurt, they agreed to a rare interview in order to raise awareness about adoption fraud. So when you start to understand the, the significance of this destruction and you start to understand this pain, it compels you to want to be able to do something else with it. Sloss and Spiller helped create this public service announcement, which will be featured on the FBI's website and shared in the adoption community. We want to be able to protect people. The FBI doesn't just investigate cases. We also try to have a proactive approach as well. The FBI's Complex Financial Crimes Unit in Detroit had never experienced anything like the Lee case. As they raided her house for evidence in 2018, agents also had to quickly get up to speed on which babies were real and which adoptions had been fabricated. This was conduct that we needed to stop very quickly. But at the same time, there are actual adoptions, actual babies in the mix here. Based on what they learned during the Lee case, the awareness campaign features several suspicious things to watch for. If you're in a situation where the narrative is being controlled and you have very limited um, access to the birth mother or birth family who's selected you, um, that is a red flag. Spiller and Sluss say a lack of proof of pregnancy, repeated failed adoptions, and frequent demands for more money are other red flags for adoptive couples. Adoption fraud is like many other financial crimes where there is this element of pressure. It's the pressure to send money now. You're going to lose out on this opportunity. The FBI also wants to make sure pregnant women thinking about placing their babies for adoption are not being exploited. Some of these women are literally being conned out of their children. When you start altering the course of a family and who's going to parent your child, that's going to, that's going to ripple generationally. I never want anyone to go through what any of us went through. It was awful. Many of the adoptive couples who lost thousands of dollars to Lee's scheme have been fighting for years for change in the system. It's truly amazing. That's our whole uh, goal here for, you know, for all of our, all of our families. I think that it is a step in the right direction. I think that, um, you know, we all want change on the state and federal level. Lee is now trying to get her conviction overturned. While lawyers continue to battle that out in court, the agents who live through the Lee case are calling on everyone involved in the adoption world to speak up if they suspect something is wrong. Court representatives, if, you know, signatures don't look good on documents or, um, attorneys who are there finalizing paperwork, if they overhear conversations that seem like coercion and things of that nature, like we want them to reach out to us. You can reach the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Meanwhile, Tara Lee has been busy behind bars. Coming up tonight on 7 Action News at 11, I'll show you how some of her victims are upset with what she's been doing. At the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.